Hello, I'm Chris Mullins. Today we're at Virginia State University's Randolph Farm in Petersburg, Virginia. Uh, hello, I'm Reza Rafi, also from Virginia State University, an uh, extension specialist uh, with the small fruits and vegetables. And today we are going to show you how to prune your uh, high tunnel grown raspberries. There are two ways to prune raspberry. Uh, depending on the farmers, different farmers, they decide to do it differently. But the two ways that we prune raspberry is, is if you want to have one harvest from your crop on annual basis or if you would like to have two harvests uh, in the same year. Uh, the first harvest is usually called primocane pruning and this, if you are interested in getting two harvests from the same cane it is called floricane and primocane pruning uh, raspberry. So we are going to talk about these two different types of uh, pruning uh, uh, shortly. First I'm going to show you the simplest way to prune or cut back and that's going to leave you with a single or one primocane crop. And then I will show you the floricane type pruning uh, which means that you, get, you can get two uh, crops from the same cane in one year. Okay well we're at the base of the canes now right at the right in the bed of the raspberries and this type of pruning or cutting back is where we're going to cut back the canes almost completely back or all the way to the ground and what this will do this will allow us to move these canes out of the area uh, now instead of later on and it'll give us a lot of uh, open space here throughout the winter time. Now we'll remove these canes and you can use something like a, a long handled pair of loppers like this. And we're going to cut the canes right to the ground, to the surface of the ground. It's the best way to do it. If we leave too much of the cane up, uh, that invites insect and disease problems. And also we want new shoots coming out from the ground. We really don't want laterals coming off of those stubs that we leave out of the ground. So just uh, very simply right to the ground with this uh, lopper situation. And if we've got smaller canes, that are in here, you could probably use hand pruners. Now, there's another method, or another tool that we can use to make this job a little faster if you have a few more plants, and let me show you that now. Now, all this pruning needs to be done in February, and sometimes you get uh, a little behind and a little later, and the hand pruning method is pretty slow. So this is a tool, this hedge trimmer here, that can make quicker work of, of, a, of a longer row. Let me demonstrate that now. Now you can see how simply, quickly that cuts through, gets them right at the, at the level of the ground, which is where you want them, because you don't want that, again, that insect or disease problems coming through there, and you want all the canes to come up uh, from the ground and not any lateral shoots that would come up uh, from those stubs. The next step is to take these canes out of this uh, trellis system. So any kind of things like, like twist ties that are holding the canes onto the wires or branch locks that are holding the canes onto the wires. Want to be, you want to remove those now uh, from all the wires and then go ahead and simply remove these canes out of here and what you end up with, with is a very flat bed that's maintenance free and ready for the new shoots to come up in the spring. Okay, so we've cleaned this area up, we've taken all the canes out, we've cut them down, removed them from the wires, we're going to remove the canes uh, out of the greenhouse, and we now have a clean area for the shoots to come up. Uh, we've done this in February, and we've got it all uh, done. We can now uh, adjust the trellis, fix it, tighten the wires a lot more easily since we have nothing in here to, uh, to keep us from doing that. As these uh, shoots start to come up uh, in April, uh, we'll have the ability easily to train them to the wires and prune them back as needed. Uh, this system, this single cane system, that's going to uh, allow us to harvest from this high tunnel in, in the central part of the state of Virginia uh, starting in late May, early June, and that'll run throughout the summer and into the fall. But this, uh, that's about a month later than you would with the second method of pruning that Dr. Rafi is going to talk about next. Yeah, what I'm going to show you is a floricane type pruning that means 
uh, getting rid of the part of the cane that produced fruit last year and clean up the cane for the following year which will be for us in this coming spring usually in uh, May that's when we are going to get the second crop so in order to be able to do that the cane obviously have gone through the dormancy during the winter time we are in February we're going to prune and get the plant uh, the cane ready for the second harvest. Now what's really important for the grower to understand is the fruit quality of the second harvest is not usually as good as the first harvest. However, the advantage of that is you produce raspberry one month before that primer cane top of pruning and fruiting that was descri described to you earlier. Therefore, that is really what's important. Having fruit going to the market one month prior to what everybody else has fruit. So if that's important for you, therefore you need to consider uh, pruning your canes for the second harvest. And the, re the way we do it, we just get rid of all the stuff that we had, all the material that we had from uh, last year and we clean our cane uh, and get them ready, remove all the part that produce fruit, usually on the tip of the cane, that's where they had last year's fruit. So we're going to remove all of that and prepare the cane to, uh, so I'm removing all of the thing, all the uh, area that, or the tip of the cane and clean it uh, that they gave us fruit last year and this year's um, the second harvest usually uh, developed the fruit production would be developed in lower section of the cane last year was the upper section the tip of the cane the second harvest is usually in the lower section of the cane that produces uh, fruit for the for the second harvest